Air superiority plays a very important role in any modern conflict. Hence, fighter jets are a crucial asset for any country that wants to defend its sky from external threats or take the fight to its rivals. Speed has been one of the key aspects of any fighter jet. From the advent of military air combat, engineers are trying to design fighter jets that can go faster and faster. Modern fighter jets can reach astounding speeds and cover vast distances in a matter of minutes. This makes them tactically invaluable for military strategists. In this video, Defense Updates list the top 10 fastest jet fighters in the world, sequenced in ascending order of their speed. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. The Chengdu J-10 is Chinese multi-role combat aircraft designed by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. It's currently the fastest jet produced by China and People's Liberation Army Air Force is its primary user. J-10 was designed in response to the introduction of MiG-29 and Su-27 by the Soviet Union and deployment of F-15 and F-16 by the United States. It was initially supposed to be an air superiority fighter, but design changes were made to give it multi-role capabilities. Work on the jet started in 1988 and was flown for the first time in 1998. The jet was introduced in 2006 and is still in service, with more than 400 of these built over the years. The Mirage 2000 is a multi-role fighter jet developed by Dassault Aviation of France. Works on it started in the mid-1970s. The first test flight was done in 1978. French Air Force received its first Mirage 2000s in 1984. The Mirage 2000 came into existence after the French government decided to withdraw from the Panavia Tornado fighter program, which had the backing of Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom and instead decided to pursue its own fighter jet development. Mirage 2000 ultimately became one of the most well-designed multi-role fighters and more than 600 of these were built. It's in service with many countries in the world as of now and has seen several midlife upgrades. Sukhoi 57, also known as PAC-FA, or T-50 is the first fifth-generation jet fighter to be developed by Russia. The fighter jet is a direct competitor to American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Its first flight took place on the 29th of January 2010. Though the Russian Air Force was supposed to receive the fighter earlier, it ultimately got them in 2018. The delay mainly occurred due to the funding problem and engine development issues. The Su-57 program had India's financial backing, but India later pulled out due to requirement mismatch. The fighter saw limited combat deployment in Syria. Currently, it's still being optimized and several issues are being sorted out like engine reliability. Typhoon is a twin-engine multi-role fighter manufactured by a consortium of Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo, which formed a joint holding company Eurofighter Jagdflugzeug GmbH in 1986. It has the backing of the UK, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. Initially, France was also part of the venture but later left due to a dispute over operational requirements and design principles. The first flight of the jet took place on the 27th of March 1994 and it entered service in 2003. The Typhoon was designed as an air superiority fighter and is considered to be one of the most agile jet fighters in the world. 
Several enhancements to the jet has made it a more capable multi-role fighter with the ability to carry out complex ground attack missions. Typhoons first saw action when it was used for airstrikes on Libya in 2011. The F-22 Raptor was the first fifth-generation jet fighter in the world. F-22 was developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Air Force and is an air superiority fighter, though it is also capable of air-to-ground attack missions. In 1991, YF-22, Lockheed's early prototype of the F-22, won the competition against McDonnell Douglas YF-23. It entered service with the United States Air Force in 2005. After Lockheed built 195 aircraft, 187 production models and 8 test aircraft, the program was cancelled. The fighters no longer produced due to the lack of enemies sighted at that time, high cost and development of the F-35. It is to be noted that even today, F-22 cannot be exported to any other country as per American federal law. Though F-22 is not even close to topping this list, it is to be noted that it is capable of super crews at Mach 1.8 which is more than any other fighter. Super Cruise is the ability to have sustained supersonic flight without having to use the highly inefficient afterburners. With this, F-22 can intercept targets which subsonic aircraft would lack the speed to pursue and an afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to reach. In 1969, Soviet intelligence got the know about the impending introduction of a new fighter by America, which was the F-15. They realized that the fighters in their arsenal won't be able to tackle the new American jet and hence wanted to have a solution for this threat. To meet the challenge, they decided to pursue two fighters, a lightweight one which came to be known as the MiG-29 and a heavy fighter which was the Su-27. The Sukhoi Su-27 was designed in the 1970s by Sukhoi Design Bureau and it first flew in 1977. Due to numerous design changes and issues, the fighter was delayed and was introduced to the Soviet Air Force in 1985. It was well taken by the pilots and became one of the most successful jet coming out of the Soviet Union. Sukhoi has built over 800 of these jets and several countries have bought them and are using them as of now. During the Vietnam War, U.S. military realized that it needed a lightweight, agile jet for air-to-air -air combat when faced by Soviet jets which were more suited for that kind of role. After requirements were finalized and the competition was held, United States Air Force chose McDonnell Douglas to manufacture the fighter, which was named F-15. F-15 was tested for the first time in 1972 and American Air Force got them in 1976. But the jet never saw combat in the Vietnam War as it was too late for it. The war ended in 1975. Nevertheless, it became a very successful fighter with more than 1,200 being manufactured and many countries buying it. The F-15 Strike Eagle is derived from the F-15 Eagle. Unlike the F-15 Eagle, which was designed for air superiority, F-15 Strike Eagle was designed to be a multi-role fighter. F-15 Strike Eagle added air-to-ground strike capability which was not present in the F-15 Eagle apart from other various improvements. The Strike Eagle was not intended to replace the Eagle but was meant to replace the F-111. F-15 Strike Eagle was pitted against the General Dynamics F-16XL design for the contract and it won after a thorough evaluation was conducted between 1981 to 1983. In 1986, it was tested for the first time and United States Air Force received the first fighter jets in 1988. MiG-31, designated as Foxhound by NATO, was designed by Mikoyan Design Bureau during the Cold War era. It is an interceptor aircraft that was built to replace the aging MiG-25. Designed to defend Soviet airspace from enemy jets, its basic design philosophy was the same as MiG-25 and MiG-31 used many features and design elements from MiG-25. The test flights of the jets started in 1975. The production of MiG-31s began in 1979 and the Soviet Air Defense Force introduced them into service in 1981. Several important additions included better avionic and deployment of phased array radar system, 
a first for any fighter jet in the world. The top speed reduced a bit when compared to MiG-25, but it gained significantly when it came to maneuverability, which made it a better overall fighter. During the Cold War period, the Soviet Union needed a fighter that could defend its vast airspace from NATO fighters and bombers. The MiG-25, designated as Foxbat by NATO, was designed to fulfill that need. MiG-25 was an interceptor with a secondary role of reconnaissance aircraft. It was supposed to be scrambled into action if enemy jets were detected above the Soviet airspace. This is why great importance was given to speed and unlike other Soviet jets, maneuverability took a back seat when the fighter was envisioned. It was the last aircraft designed by Mikhail Guryevich. The MiG-25 was first tested in 1964. After initial testing, the fighter entered service in 1970. It saw production from 1964 to 1984 when more than 1,150 fighters were manufactured. The jet has seen many upgrades over the years and is still in limited service with several countries including the Russian Air Force. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.